Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another video for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's just going to be a quick one today, but I wanted to put something together to talk a bit more about something that has got a lot of people's attention in many of the gameplay videos. Shield surfing. Yes, that's right. Among all the other cool things this entry into the series is adding, shield surfing is by far my favourite thing I've seen. Pardon my language, but I genuinely lost my shit when I saw this the first time. Something so simple yet so awesome is going to provide me with hours of entertainment when the game launches next year. Not to mention a quick way to get down a hill or a mountain. However, there's a little more to it than simply what you see. So, I figured a quick video to explain how it all works and what you need to bear in mind might prove useful. So, if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated and comment down below and let me know what you think. Now, to begin with, it's worth noting that as cool as this is, shield surfing does come at a cost. In Breath of the Wild, weapons and certain pieces of gear have degradation. In other words, the more you use it, the more damaged it becomes, and if you continue to use it, an item or weapon can break. We're unsure just yet whether there will be a means to repair items in-game, as that wasn't available in the demo. I'd imagine there will be, likely something you'd either do in a town or with select items. But, for the time being, know that using the same item for a long period of time will gradually degrade it, and that can in turn lead to it breaking. I'd also imagine that we'll get some sort of Master Sword and Hillian Shield at some point in the game that perhaps won't abide by these rules, but, again, that is simply speculation. The reason this information is relevant in this case, however, is because shield surfing also degrades your shield. I mean, throwing it on the ground and shredding your way down a mountain is a surefire way to wear anything out, right? However, lucky for you, shields, much like other weapons like spears, swords, clubs, etc. are actually quite easy to come by in this game. You can collect a wide range of items and hold many of them so that you can switch between them when something breaks, or of course prior to that to prevent that very thing happening. But as for the actual surfing itself, it's also got a bit more utility than simply a means to fast travel down steep hills. You can surf into enemies and perform a shield jump spin attack like this, plus the real reason that this got me ultra hyped you could do a Legolas from Lord of the Rings and surf on your shield whilst firing arrows. I would be willing to bet all of the rupees in my wallet that when the full game launches, there's going to be a minigame challenge similar to the rupee shooting gallery or the horseback target practice where you have to shoot targets while surfing down a hill. <laughs> it also seems that if we take a look at a quick segment from one of the treehouse demonstrations, that you can combine a shield surf with the hang glider too. Notice the shield on his feet while he glides, and then he drops straight into a surf. So it seems like there are going to be lots of awesome combinations with this. In fact, I didn't get a chance to try this one out, but it would be cool if you could use runes whilst doing this. Perhaps throw a bomb, or grab something with the Magnesis rune while surfing. Lots of things to think about for sure, but for the time being, I'm going to leave you guys with a quick bit of gameplay that shows a shield surf right from the top of this mountain all the way to the bottom, lasting around 45 seconds. So enjoy that, and thanks for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.